Hi, this is Tom Grinney with Telco Depot. Today we're going to show you how easy it is to build your own Ethernet cables. First of all, we always suggest using a prefabricated cable so that it's been certified and tested to run at your data speeds. But in the uh, cases where you need to do something quickly, really quite simple. Today we're going to be using our LAN test kit, which you can find on our website, telcodepot.com, and that includes the crimper we're going to use today, the handy stripper, and we're going to use a couple of the RJ45 plugs, and we're going to put boots on them. On top of that, I'm using a standard pair of office scissors and a little screwdriver, which I'll explain later. To get started, we simply have to take off a, a couple of inches of the outer jacket. That's what this tool is for. Just run it over the, the outer jack of the cable till it fits snugly, a few turns, and pop the jacket right off. If you try to do that with a knife or something else, you're going to run the, the, the risk of nicking uh, the cable. Take the, the Kevlar string, snip it off. That's the strengthening member. Some people use it to peel jacket. Now, color codes are very important. We've read reviews where people say, as long as I get a straight through connection, I don't care. Yes, they are very important because in the Ethernet world, we only use pins 1, 2, 3, and 6. Pins 1 and 2 will go over this orange pair of wires, and then 3 and 6 will go over the green pair. And the way these wires are tightly twisted is very important in getting your data speeds. It prevents crossover of signal between one pair of wires and the other. And the other reason you want to do that is many devices now use a function called power over ethernet. That typically uses the unused pairs, which in this case is a brown pair and or the blue pair. Now, we're going to start by taking the orange-white pair and moving it to our left, the brown and white pair moving it to our far right. Now, I've seen a lot of people take these and try to untwist them by hand. That's very cumbersome. This is where I'm going to use my small screwdriver. You can use anything with a point and a round barrel. Take the wire right near the base there and just poke it through and strip it straight out. Does two things. Takes all the twists right out and pretty much straightens out the wire, which you're going to see we need in just a moment. So do the orange and, as I said, the brown pair. This takes a little getting used to and hands are not quite as shaky as mine. Okay. Now, in both cases, we want to start with the white wire. Okay. So we've got the white, orange, and then the orange wire. And on the far side, we've got the white brown, and then finally the brown wire. The next pair we're going to do is the green pair. Likewise, in strip. Okay. Take the green wire to the left. I'm sorry, the green white wire to the left, and take the solid green wire to the right. Now these are the pins that your Ethernet will use. These four wires here. Okay. Lastly, we'll undo the blue and white pair. Now this is where a little change comes in. We're going to put the blue wire to the left and the white blue wire to the right. Now give every one of them a little bit of a, a last minute straightening. Just pull straight out on them and that will take the little kinks out of the end out and start working them together to the middle. So start folding them in to the middle. Keeping your order is very important. And when you get to this point, you're going to want to take the, the cable, grasp it one hand on the jacket, the other hand on the cable, and start bending and working them together, back and forth, up and down, back and forth, up and down. See how they're starting to come together? in a nice even bundle. Okay, at this point I'm going to stop and check my color codes. I've got my white, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. So I'm looking good. Okay, now for our next step, now I've got one wire that's a little out of place here and fighting me a little bit. Let me, let me do a little bit more here to get the green wire in place. One more time. There we go. That's doing a little better now. Now, we're going to cut this off with only about a half inch showing. Now, I've got a little garbage can over here, so I doubt you can... Let me just put it up here so you can see. All I'm going to do is use these scissors and cut them off in a perfectly straight line. Okay? Keeping my hand holding them in place the entire time. At this point, we're simply going to feed them into the body of the plug. 
pushing and wiggling as we go so that we see that the cable feeds all the way up inside. Here you can see that first white orange wire. Also you want to make sure that the jacket goes up into the body of the plug because we're going to put a crimp right here which will act as a strain relief so that when you pull on a patch cord you're not pulling on the pins. So next we're going to take this and we're going to insert it into the crimper, push it in all the way and continue to push on the cable. Now do a last minute check to make sure that all of the conductors are up to the end and give it a good squeeze. Okay. Now we can look through and we can see that our color pairs are all in the right order. We have a very nice crimp here on the side and we can also see if we look closely that the uh, gold covered contacts are down in and have actually pierced into the copper of the uh, cable. We're going to go ahead and terminate the other side and then we'll show you how to test this. Okay, now that we've got both ends of the cable terminated, we're going to use the little test kit that comes with this uh, LAN tool kit. Now this is not going to certify the cable, but it will check to make sure that we have a, a straight through connection end to end. Simply take one end, take it into the remote, and just plug it in. Put the other end into the side of the main test unit. Let's do it the right direction. Then just hit the, the test button. Okay, it'll check the cables. You see that the wires are all in place. Okay, and we have a green light saying it's connected. So we have a good Ethernet cable. And that's all there is to it. Till next time, take care.